Bonjour Koi world. So just a very quick update this week. So just we're carrying on with the uh, Koi plaques. Um, again, I'm sort of filming this as I go. I've got nothing, uh, I don't film ahead of myself. I know like the Koi Whisperer and that, they're pretty good at getting themselves ahead. Whereas I work a bit more reactively because um, I've said it before, I'm lazy. So uh, I'm actually filming the start, the intro to this video and the end of this video sitting in the same place. So those eagle eyed, you will notice that. Um, it's not just a coincidence. But yeah, so enjoy the update. Um, there's a bit of um, a bit of good news at the end of the story, and uh, hope you enjoy. See you in a bit. I've skipped the stage. The stage required more painting, and quite frankly, I didn't want to bore you anymore, and I just couldn't be bothered. I bloody ate it. But there we go. Look. So they are now red. Wasn't sure if they're a little bit too bright, but uh, I think once they're outside against the timber, I think they will look okay. But yeah, pretty happy so far. Next step, as I say, we need to get the scroll saw out. We need to decide what's gonna go in these middle sections. One, two. And uh, I'll come back to you in a bit and we shall start. I think what I'll do is I don't, with the scroll saw, anyone that's got a scroll saw, trying to cut anything too thick on it of a, a pattern of quite complexity, large complexity, high complexity, is that all right? Whatever it be, um, too much detail, um, too thick and it doesn't really work out. So what I'm probably gonna do is use a ply, a thinner ply, um, probably a six mil ply, and then I'll mount it on similar size battens or size of these battens minus six mil, so it sits flush, if you know what I mean, and then that'll be fixed to the fence separately. So uh, I'll catch you in a little bit and uh, I'll show you what I've come up with but yeah still not sure I didn't want to go Japanese symbols but I'm now thinking that perhaps that might be the right thing to do not yin yang the white wouldn't look right as much as I like it but uh, yeah we shall see so now we got them all painted up I can start to look at what we put in the middle so what I've done I've just cut some paper roughly to the size that I want just so I can mark it out I could have printed something off for the old interwebs, but um, I quite like doing things by hand. So what I've been doing, I've just drew myself out a, a box grid. I'm just trying to work out what's going to fit in here nicely. I'm not a very good doodler. But I think this is going to work out all right. So what I'm going to do then is cut this out as a template. I've got to play around with these windows. You see that one's too wide. But cut this out as a template. And then what I can do is actually attach it to the piece of ply that I'm going to use, spray around it to give me an outline. <laughs> Excuse that, that's probably more resemblant of uh, an adult's toy. Yeah, I was struggling. I didn't want to put Japanese symbols. I've already got Japanese symbols and it's quite cliche, isn't it? Um, so I wanted to go with something different. Uh, the other one's going to be slightly different to this one. Uh, but yeah, that's what design-wise I've come up with. So I'll ignore the lines in the middle. That's just where I've been sketching. Oh. Be back in a bit without the adult toy and the wonky windows and we'll see what she looks like. Has anyone tried to draw a bonsai tree before? If you haven't, don't. It's a pain in the iris. Blue Peter style is one I made earlier. So this one, this would be the bonsai. At the moment, it looks a bit too big for the opening, for the recess. But obviously this one will be uh, trimmed. So just for the cutout on the jigsaw, or bandsaw, whatever it's called, craft saw, scroll saw, saw, coleslaw, eye saw. It'll obviously be cut a bit closer, see so we'll have that even gap. So that's that one. And the other one, sits in there, like so. But yeah, I'm thinking that'll look just a little bit different from your usual Japanese symbols. Excuse the brush marks. Let's get cutting. Roughly translated to uh, hardwood ply. It's only uh, six mil, I think it is. Just enough to get the old scroll saw on. 
this one, as I said, this is just a basic outline shape. I'm gonna have to trim up the edges once it's done. See whether I'm happy with it. At the moment, oh, I'm not so sure, but uh, we'll see how it goes, shall we? And as if by magic, not perfect, needs sanding. Um, I mean, it's all about the Japanese, really, the theme. So Japanese, they don't tend to have straight lines, which is uh, exactly why I've cut these lines slightly wonky, because um, it is in keeping with the theme. Honest. So as you would have seen, I've been cutting these on the scroll saw. So I bought this second hand, because I buy everything second hand. I think this model is about 100 quid, but I paid, I think, about 30 quid for it. And honestly, if you're into a bit of arts and crafts, I did have a bandsaw before, but cheap bandsaws aren't really worth the money. But this thing, for 20 quid, or you can pick one up second hand, 50, 60 quid. This one's an Iron Hall, what does it say? Iron Hall TC55405E. A one or an I? E I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got the old extraction. Multi speed. I think this one they sell in tool station, like I say, just an edge over 100 quid. Um, but for messing around, I mean, that was hardwood ply. But I've cut up to around 18 mil pine, softwood, fir, whatever you want to call it. And it, uh, yeah, it coats quite comfortably. But yeah, for arts and crafts and things, if you want to make decorative items and I know some of these people, uh, they create koi plaques and whatnot. Something like this is ideal. Um, just makes it a bit easier than using the old big jigsaw. I mean, if you've got a bandsaw. Or CNC, that's even better. So obviously they're in red. Now, at the start of this video... So, if you go back one video, you'll notice that I said, I found these, or similar to these, half the size on eBay for 40 quid. There's a reason they're 40 quid. It's because they take fucking ages to make. So the person that is selling these on eBay, he or she, go and give them some love. If you're looking for one of these or something like this, 40 quid with the koi in is an absolute bargain. I said in the last video, cool, 40 quid or, you know, I can make it for, you know, at home. But yeah, I can make it at home, but it takes hours and these don't look anywhere as good as the ones that you'll find on eBay. So like I say, head to eBay. If you're looking for something like this, you can't be asked to make it. Go and give them a look up. Japanese signs, Japanese art, or whatever on eBay, and you'll find them. He or she that makes them, bang on. Nice work. But alas, my stupidity, we're back to, so we're gonna give these a sand out. As I said, a bit wonky. They need a sand, it is hardboard, so it's gonna chip. I was going to go something different on either side, and I actually did draw out, you would have seen, I drew out um, a bonsai, but it just did not look right. Um, it's too tall and not wide enough. So, and Japan, Japan, Japanese, whatever you want to call it, I think it is all about symmetry. You look at yin yang. And... So we've gone with the same. So that's going to sit in there. Obviously it will sit um, 3D. Once it's sanded down, ignore it as it looks at the moment. But that's going to sit in there nicely. What I might do is, because it's been sat out as well, I might even get some LEDs to put behind it. So at night, these will obviously be painted black, but at night, the light will shine through. Shine on through. left-handed, cack-handed, back-handed, wrong-handed. So just a bit of PVA glue, because obviously what we want is for this, once it's on the fence, to sit out slightly. So what we'll do is just a bit of basic wood glue, 
stick them on the back just to space it out a bit. I'll straighten them up, clamp them up in a minute. Then they'll sit 3D. So if we do want to put some lights around them, we get the lights. Also, I'm going to clamp them up. But about 10, 15 years ago, I bought these weights and some bars with the intention of getting fit. Excuse the noise of the old tumble dryer, which coincidentally decided to take a leak on me. But yeah, I bought these with the intention of getting fit. I thought I won't throw them out, knowing for well I don't want to get fit, or I won't get fit because I'm fat. Um, I'll keep them. Because one day I knew I'd be making crappy coil ornaments in the garage and I'd need a weight. Now that's a workout. That'll live for tonight. So as I say, from a messy garage, I'm very fortunate that I can walk straight out the door into my little fry room. So these things just eat and eat and eat, which is great. They are, look, they're starting to get colour. You can't really see it. It's bloody light! I don't know if you can see that, but that one's going. They are changing slowly. And I'm starting to go orange. You can't really see it on this. Really annoying. I do need to invest a little bit, don't I? They all seem happy. Anyway, good night, everybody. Time to get some paint on these bad boys. Still wet. It's like two degrees outside, so we've got the heater on. Try and get it to dry out a bit quickly. But yeah, next step, so just a couple of pilot holes, just a basic uh, outdoor gloss finish. Just to go with the Z-Red. So next step, we'll get them on the wall, and I shall join you by the pond in the morning. It's Saturday tomorrow, so it is a pond maintenance day. So I shall see you out there, and we'll hopefully get these up on the wall Old fish. There we go. Look. And if I haven't done this, there's two caps to go on the screws that side. But I'll blink and well drop them in the dark, and I can't find them. Can't bloody find them. I think they've come out all right. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like I say, there's two caps to go on the screws. You won't see the screws. Oh, no. oh, this is on a postcard. Oh shit, it fell over. Oh no, that won't work, will it? I was going to do. Uh... There we go. All done. What do you reckon, Weave? I like it. Over behind the lights. What are you doing with your arms? Cold. Cold? Yeah. There's actually steam coming off the pond. That's how cold it is out here. The pond water's only. Pond water was at about 10 degrees earlier on. But we had some very, very, very sad news. So while I've been indoors working today, a cat, so you know where my fry tank is. A cat has decided to go and sit by the pond and when I went in the f with fry I've been quite skittish but uh, we've just noticed that the blind fish has been taken. Not cool. We're absolutely gutted, aren't we, Weave? We're heartbroken. So uh, I'll be seeing that cat. We've still got to clean the old Nexus. Uh, another week. Not too bad, getting better, obviously less feed. As I say, I am feeding once, maybe twice a day, if they're up for it. They seem up for it today, look. Oi, oi. Got him down here, his skin's looking a bit sore, actually. He doesn't seem very happy. I don't know if that's the cold weather, or that's the one that we adopted. Never really taken the time to, to study him in detail, so not sure if that's how he was, or... What the others, they seem happy. His old Tash, Inspector Clouseau. 
Yeah, so just a quick update. So I just chucked some plastic noggins on the old uh, signs. That's how they look in the daytime. We saw them last night, didn't we? But we ain't seen them today in the light. I've just got to touch up. You see on the red, I'm not too fussed about the black, but on the red, you'll see the two screw caps, which I need to paint as it lead. Yeah. Uh, Dave, can I tell you a joke? Yeah, of course you can. I probably won't find it funny, though. Koi fish always travel in groups of four, because while A, B and C get away, the predator goes for the decoy. <laughs> See, I knew you'd laugh. So what I was thinking, let's go and park my bum on the wall, hang on, it's bloody cold. Let's go and park myself down here, look. What I was thinking, as I did say, we would, oh my word, that's nice. Don't often sit here. What I was saying, so 750 subscribers, um, see how they came out. I'm actually pretty happy with how they came out. They're not perfect, but um, there's lessons learned for next time and I could do a better job. Plus, I don't know if you guys are the same, but I find if I'm doing something for myself, um, I tend to rush more and don't tend to do as good a job as I probably would for someone else. I think I suppose it's, it's easy for yourself to live with um, snags and defects and things you're not overly happy with, but not so much if you're giving it to someone else. So I was gonna say 750 subscribers, but what I'm going to do is I'll follow up this video, this upload, with a, a very short upload just of, um, I've seen some people doing it, I'd be quite intrigued to put something together that's similar just to see how the year's gone by. Um, we only started this pond in, was it May or June? July, August, September, October, November, December, so six months. So the pond's six months old and uh, I think we've moved mountains to be honest. We got rid of the old pond, in with the new, and we've done lots and lots and most of all we've made lots of friends and... Uh, yeah, we've learned lots along the way, which is nice. But I think what I'll do is, part of that video, what I'm gonna do is, I'll, I'm not really fussed. I was thinking about, oh, 750 subscriber, blah, 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 blah. I was thinking, this is my channel. It doesn't have to have a certain amount of subscribers to give something away for free, does it? So I thought, oh, as a bit of a Christmas one. We'll, um, let's give one of them plaques away. So you've seen the plaques. I'll stick it on the next video anyway. But um, I'm happy to, to make one, spend a bit of time. It will look better than those ones. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned for the next video. As I say, just a yearly update and your chance to uh, subscribe or like and win one of our uh, little koi plaques there. But thank you for watching. I'm going to go and carry on uh, cleaning the pond. Like I said in the last video, all you Nexus owners obviously feel the pain, unless you've got the auto kit, but all you drum filter owners, yeah, you enjoy sitting in the warm, just admiring your fish from a, a distance. Not cool. I'll catch you next time. You behave yourselves and uh, I'll speak soon.